I cannot believe I am back at the Nevada State Prison and it is freezing cold. One of the main differences between the last time I was here, I was here with my friend Lindsay and now I am here with my boy Omar Gosh TV and it's basically three o'clock in the morning and we have this whole entire prison to herself. And let me tell you, you wanna talk about a scary place and you know, sometimes we go to places where, you know, they have a lot of good spirits. And maybe there is a lot of good spirits here. But also, there is a lot of very bad demonic spirits, including two specific areas in general. Maybe even three, actually, now that I think of it. Oh, what was that? Did you hear that? Bro, there was like a, almost like a scream or something from over here. Yeah, that's the hole. Oh, he was in there for seven years. Wow. That's where we go in right there. It is very spooky from being here last time and what I experienced. And the fact that you and I are going to be splitting up in here is honestly a little terrifying. You know, it's our first time here together. Yeah, I was just saying that. Yeah, my friend Kelsey did her alone thing with her alone episode. Here. You were pushed here, weren't you? Yeah, I'll show you where I was pushed. Okay. Was oh, right that's why you, this area scares you the most. Oh, yeah. Okay, so the area that scares me the most is over there. But well, we're going to start off with... Areas that scare me, but this is probably up there. Yeah. It's in here. This is culinary. It can be, I don't know, lunchroom or whatnot. And in the 1970s, there was a big riot between African Americans and Native, Native Americans. Americans. And I say the Native, Native Americans, Americans jumped them. Yeah, yeah, we lost that story. Yeah. Two blood out right over there, and that's where I was pushed. And a lot of people get pushed right But you were pushed right where the guys yeah, died? Out. Yeah. Really? Out. I didn't catch that. Yeah. And no one told me anything about that. Like, I didn't find that out until later on. When I was that there was a right here and the guys right here. This is exactly where I was pushed That is freaky. Right here. It is way freaky when you're walking around here by yourself. So brace yourself. Yeah, it's you, man. We're going to be completely disconnected. You might not have a Keep your eyes open, guys. And it's super funny. Oh my god! What, 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 what? Oh, bro, dude, I think I got that on camera. Oh, crap, I had the camera facing the wrong way, of course. Dude, right behind that door, I saw, like, like things going back. It was almost like two or three people walking by. No way. I swear. Can bro, you do that again? Look, I think he did it again. That's, oh my god, dude, that's where they, oh my god, I don't even want to say it yet. Okay, so, Susan... Okay, we're about to split up. I'm already scared. I think it's down this way. I think so. And through the doors, I think somewhere over there. It's not It's not right. That's up by the front where the officers were. Alien, and they call them the Grays. Maybe that's what you just saw. Maybe. I know what room you're talking about. She was telling me about it. It's like a gigantic room. Oh, no, 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 wait. That's the room. Wait, come on. No, 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 no. Don't go that, in there's there. a portal in there. There is a portal in there. Don't yeah. go in there. But I want to show you. This is where... So... Yeah, you can see through here. I didn't want to go in here, but Susan was telling me, you know Jack Osborne and um, maybe Kelly or yeah. Sharon, I don't know which one. Well, they came here and Susan said she was going to take a, a Polaroid picture from right here. And then Jack said he's going to take a picture right there facing that way. And in his picture, you can see it is a blue light. Looks like a portal of a, like a blue light right there. 
So that's why they think it's a portal room, and I, I'm not into going into portal rooms. No. I don't like that. Last time I did that, I ended up losing somebody really close to me. Actually, last two times. Yeah, two times. The last two times he went in the portal room, he lost someone close to him. So we do not go in portal rooms. Bro, this is spooky. Wait till we split up, bro. I'm already scared with you. I don't know what to think by myself. Hello? Oh, it's right over here. So these doors right here, I think these are like safes or freezers or something. Yeah, they're freezers. Susan snapped a photo and caught like a full blown looking alien creature in there. And it really? was great, bro. It was freaky. I have that in the very first video that I did here. I have that photo. It was right in there. Can you show yourself again? I can't really see that too well. I'm just getting a reflection. I think it's because of the light on my phone. Let me try to cover it up and see if that helps. No. No alien gray for us. There is a heaviness of this place though. Especially around here. I kept hearing like somebody walking above me and there's no second floor here. It's like a... Oh, I did hear that. Dude, where did that just come from? I don't know. There's a lot of activity in this little hallway right here. Can you make a noise for us? Totally heard that. Do another tap for us. Keep your eyes open, guys, because they very easily we're going to miss something in this video. I feel like we're going to get something crazy this video. We may not see it. This is one of those places. Super haunted. And it's always different every time I come. Super haunted. Super active. I don't know what it is about this space, though, but I always feel like I feel like I'm already lost in here. In case you're wondering, that is like a warm sack. <laughs> it's, I don't know, it's like a hand warmer. I mean, could be a hand warmer, could be a foot warmer, could be a... I'm kind of playing with fire a little bit too because I have this like Nevada State hoodie, or um, beanie, sorry. And then I'm wearing one of the actual um, CO. This is a CO's jacket. Oh God. So I know that's in a quality shirt. Some yeah, things are about to get really tense, guys. Really tense. Wait, I think we go this way. So what happened when you got pushed over here? Like, I don't know. I felt that Maybe I lost my footing, mm -hmm. and then I just like tripped over this and ended up on the other side of the beat right there. I gotta get hurt. I get what you're trying to find off guard. You know what I mean? Mm. I was in a super violent I mean, people have been possessed here in this place, so I wouldn't put it past it. Whatever. Oh, it's we get to do tonight. It's probably something oh, I was kind of keeping that a secret. You're going to keep it a secret? I was keeping that a secret. All right, well, we have something really special planned for you. Really special. And no one's ever got to do it. Yeah, no one's ever done it before. No one's ever done it No, she said she was letting you be the first one. We'll be the first one. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, we got something that's really cool that we're going to do a little bit later. So, 
And it's going to be scary. It's very bold. Bro, it's going to be scary the minute we split up. Oh, God. Not me neither. Keep on feeling like I hear talking. Like in the backgrounds. Could just be me. Well, thank you for not pushing us. Yeah, thank you. Is there anything that you want to do, say? <gasps> what was that? Check. 100%. It came from that way. Like out there. As I was asking. Didn't sound like any animal I've ever heard. Can you do that again? We gotta go out that way, bro. All right. Thank you for hanging out with us for a little bit. Make sure you're polite. I'm a little nervous walking out right now. James is pretty polite. He wants to be. Oh my god, so cold outside. Oh yeah, it's gonna be cold as we're going right now. I feel like I want to close this. Close that. It's like, no. Make sure when we come back, it's like that. Like, if it's open, we know, like, yeah. somebody's came through or something. So when we were kind of getting a tour of the place, there's something that we like to yeah, do, kind of feel out. it out and get kind of caught up on some of the history and stuff. We were getting ready to go into this entrance on the left here. If you didn't and know, this video is going to be completely uncut, uncut unedited, no music. Did you hear the scream? Oh, uh, yeah, I did. I didn't hear it. Yeah, we heard a woman scream. They may have caught it on camera or like on a recorder or something. I was just reminding everybody this is an uncut, unedited, no music added. Just yeah, as we just experience raw. it. It's funny because Omar said the other day, it helps the fans feel like they're there with us, but it also, while I'm filming this, it makes me feel like they're there with us too. It's like a live stream. You yeah, like a live stream, yeah, so I like it. Now here's the thing, bro. One of us is going to the right, one of us is going to the left. I don't know which one is gonna be what. I'll make it easy for you, I'll go left, you go right. Oh, you want to go toward the death chambers? Okay. Wait. <laughs> you picked. But we'll we'll no. meet up there later together. Like we should go meet that up together. Do you want to meet back right here? Oh, you're gonna you're gonna check out the other floors first. What minute are you on? Like on the recording. Uh, same as you. Thirteen twelve. Okay, that's where I'm at. So why don't we around thirty meet right back here? All right. Deal. I like that. All right, we're gonna meet him back here at three. Good luck, bro. Don't be too scared. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I know my boy Omar is really tripping out right now because he did not really want to split up in this video. He definitely didn't want to start in that cafeteria where he was pushed by himself. But wherever he feels most comfortable going by himself, I'm glad because in this prison is right up there in the infirmary. I'm guessing this is on their way to the jail cells. Now, these actually aren't the main cell. Oh man, could you imagine being in there? I think this was like cells that they had where people or patients were going to see the doctor or getting their hair cut or, you know, had to see the dentist or something like that. I 
actually never went down this way before. I've never actually even been in this building before. Last time I went where Omar went, and I didn't even know about this part in the infirmary. Hey, you want to take a shower? I ain't gonna lie, this is scary. I feel like the higher we go up, the scarier it'll be. I think we're about to hit a dead end. And if we are, I need to turn around. Oh, guess we can go this way. We choose probably to not sell or not. You know that there was several different riots out here and a lot of people, like there was a lot of fights. Matter of fact, like the area we were just at where Omar and I split up was a um, big area for quite a lot of fights actually. Could you imagine that going here and all of a sudden the door locks. That is a small space, look at this. Can you imagine that's all you have right there? All of them. Can the hallway? I'm gonna try something I've never tried before. If there is a spirit, can you walk in front of this light? I'm gonna keep trying that and see if that works one of these days. Maybe I catch like something walking in front of the actual being. <sighs> I can't get this feeling like something's following me in here. And to be honest with you, giving Omar the option of which way you want to go, I thought he was gonna pick this way. Cells that way. Let's head up to the infirmary because I know the spirit level up there is really high. I think that's actually where uh, the caretaker here, Susan, has gotten like possessed. Whew, this is trippy. I'm friendly. I'm not here to harm you. I think this is on the way to the infirmary. This kind of trips me out because it's like one of the more scarier parts in here. I believe this is where they get their medicine or x-rays done here. I know one of these was for dental. One of them was where they would come get their medicine every day. Makes a, I don't like that mirror right there either. 
This is where I think they would get their medicine. And there. Oh my gosh, this is spooky. Is there someone in here? This place is so big. I mean, I couldn't imagine back in the days being in here. I will say this, it is absolutely freezing outside. Like, oh, who wants a bath? It's like 25 degrees weather outside. But in here, I thought it was gonna be way colder. But honestly, it's pretty warm in here. Like I really don't even need my jacket on right now. And like I have a really thick jacket. So I would've thought the inmates would've froze to death in here. But honestly, I think they were okay. See in there. I keep hearing something behind me. I don't know what the heck it is. Do you guys keep hearing that? There's just something really strange about this spot. Is there a spirit here with us? That was me. I'm gonna feel so much better when I get out of here. When did I say that I meet Omar at 30? I might be meeting him a little bit sooner than that. Who's there? I heard you. Can you move again? Bro, what the hell? I don't know where that door goes to. Okie dokie. Huh. So I guess we go this way. I don't like 
Get out of here. Huh? What the fuck? Who is that? Oh, shit. Please tell me I get out of here this way. Bro, no way. No freaking way. No way. We walked through that whole thing. We walked through that whole thing. There was nothing there. I mean, we heard something that sounded like moving around. Oh my God. Thank God the door was right there. Hello? Hello? I'm not afraid of you. Are you there? I don't want to go back in there. I don't want to go back in there at all. Okay. That was cool. Let's not do that again. Uh, I don't like that. What time is it? 26. We still got three minutes left. Oh, man. I feel nervous just being over here right now. Oh. Dude, that gave me a freaking heart attack. I don't know. I'm not going back to see what door closed. I don't even want to know. Now, what's crazy is... Oh, that's on the other... No, it's not right here. It's in the other building. Never mind. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like things closing on me. I like to make sure the doors stay open. Is there any spirits over here? I promise I won't run out again. What the hell was that? Did you hear that? Like a moan? Thank you. Man, I can't wait to see what kind of stuff you guys see in this video. me testing this, but I swear I heard like a woman's voice behind me. I'm not sure if I did or not, but it sounded like it. But I am happy to be walking downstairs right now. Dude, I don't even know if I should tell her more about that. I do not like the feeling I get here. It's not of good spirits at all. out here any spirits outside over here one more you good I'm good bro bro <laughs> I'm freaking scared bro that was one of the scariest things ever honestly same here especially what happened to me in one of the rooms but I don't want to tell you right now Okay. Because I don't want to freak you out. I don't want you to tell me yet. So listen, man, my flashlight, yeah. as soon as I started going down this hall, mm -hmm. started, it, it's like some, somebody was messing with it. It was like dimming out, like on its, but like bad. Really? And I had to turn on my iPhone, like, because it was. Oh, no. I, it was almost trying to leave me in the dark. And I told it not to mess with my flashlight, and it kept doing it. Did, what did you check out in there? What's that? Did you go to all the floors? I went upstairs, yeah, but then I got freaked out because something literally tapped, like one of the bars. Bro, right? I heard something walking around in there, dude, or moving around. It was really scary. 
Now, there's one place I didn't go up here. I didn't go to the death chamber. Okay, I do you want to wait to the end and we'll do it together? Or? Yeah, we'll do that together. Okay. Because Susan opened it up and it's never been opened All right. before. All right, we'll leave that alone. Yeah. Then. Okay. So that's like the big secret that we wanted to tell. So there's a death yeah. chamber here. Where no one's ever got to film inside of it. To death. And I've never been able to like be, like go inside. No YouTuber has. No gone. one. No one ever. So we're the first ones ever to be able to make a video inside. Bro, what chamber. about a sound deprivation in there? Nah. That'd be insane. So one of us on one side of the glass, one of us on the other side of the Leash glass. got possessed opening that death chamber. She did. And it's been opened. And I have a feeling that there's something in there right oh, now. Great. Like just going through the hallways. Great. Because I, I heard it. Like, I heard it loud and clear. Well, that side doesn't feel much better, so not to give any well, good. Well, let's do this. Problems. Let's go in there together where you were. No. Nah. Why? I already went in there. But we'll go in there together, and then we'll go in here together. No, you got that. I want, I'm going to show some of that just like you did. We're going to switch now, and then we're going to meet. I don't want to be alone anymore, bro. bro. <laughs> 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 I don't necessarily I either, but we do it for the fan, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, all right, what time do you want to meet at the Dev Chambers? Damn. Or right oh, here? meet at the Dev Chambers? No, we should meet right here. All right, you want to meet right here? I had a 45. 45? 45. 45. Alright, that's 15, 14 minutes. Well, you know. Say hello to it for me. Told you he'd trip him out. I don't blame him either. Because I just tripped out and ran like a girl, but I didn't want to tell him that. What if, like, the same thing happens to him? Hmm. He might be back over here before, uh, before time. Oh man, this side does not feel any better. I got a story to tell you guys from here. From the first time I was here. Do you remember me? There's one specific area besides the one that Omar was just talking about that I'm very nervous to go back to because of what happened last time I was here. I may or may not add that footage to this video, but... Maybe what I'll do is I'll keep the camera rolling and I'll just put that footage on top. Well, I guess that doesn't work, never mind. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I can't remember if we go that way. I believe it's this way. Yep, of course, there are the stairs. Well, the first floor, I don't remember anything much eventful happening. I guess we can check that out at the end. That's the A floor. B floor is what Omar was talking about. I'm gonna show you a little bit of that right now. Although I'm really scared to do that. Man, I'm really nervous to do this. This is like where people have been possessed. Maybe I'm gonna wait to show that to you. This is really scary. But I'll tell you another really scary spot right above us and I was here last time with my friend Lindsay and she was actually I think on the A floor and I came all the way up to the C floor and I'll show you exactly where I was gosh the chills I'm just having like Last time I was here, Lindsay was on the A floor and I didn't feel as scared as I did now because because, uh, you know, she was down there and Omar's in the other building. So even if I yelled, he wouldn't hear from me. Oh God, my anxiety is so high right now. So how 
was down here. And I was all the way down toward the end. When all of a sudden I heard, kind of like what we heard before moving around, but like 10 times more. And then as I was walking out, because it like really freaked me out, something slammed on the, on the roof. Or I'll show you exactly where it was. Um, actually, I was on the inside. I think. Yeah, this is where it was at. Tell you what, if this wasn't an uncut video, this is where I'd start playing the creepy music. And that memories are just coming back. I'm sure you might remember me. Last time I was here, you scared me. Was that funny to you? I feel like you guys are gonna catch something on camera that I'm missing. Maybe in one of these cells or something. I don't remember exactly where it was I heard that loud bang when I was running out here. But I do remember the cells were down here. I feel like when I was here last time, this was definitely the most haunted area of this entire prison. Right down here. Do you remember me? If you do, can you make a noise? Can I hear you walk or do something? Okay, I'm gonna start to go. Oh my God, that's scary. Guess these are two man bunks. Still not a lot of room for two people, but a lot more room honestly there I think than the ones we just saw that had space for one. I feel like maybe that was like solitary confinement or something. They do have a death row too. I believe that is on the second floor. And boy that is spooky. That's why Omar's waiting for me to do that one. Man, I don't blame him. I'm gonna have to look back at my last video and see where that was. I thought there was like a vent or something on the ceiling. Um, no, that's not it. It's really strange. Am I on the wrong floor possibly? I might be on the wrong floor.
do feel like I was on the... If there is another floor up, I think that was the floor I was on. So this actually isn't even where that happened. Okay, one more floor to go. And then we're going to the real spooky floor. Okay, yeah, this was it. So, <laughs> this was the floor that I was on. And I started hearing all the noises at the end of the hallway. And I'll show you that vent where I heard something hit real loud. Let's see. Is that it? That looks like our huckleberry. I'll tell you what though, that is spooky. <sighs> Wait, I did it again. We're on the inside, not the outside. Oh gosh. That's about scaring you. Alright, now this is it. That was the vent right there. Literally, oh my god. No, this is freaking me out. And it's like I have to relive this again after just reliving it <laughs> on the other floor. Oh, it could have been that bent. It was one of those. Three minutes till we have to meet Omar. Shower anyone? I'm back. Right as I said that. Last time I was here, you made a lot of noise over here. A lot of noise. Can you do that for me again? Oh God, it looked like somebody was sitting up there. Oh. Can you speak again? Bro. That was crazy. All right, it's 45 minutes. I gotta go meet Omar. That was a freaking woman voice. Strength. Something's behind me, and I feel like something's above me. Oh boy, I don't like this spot. I don't know if my mind's playing tricks on me. Alright, I 
At least we're close to the stairs. Maybe Omar's on his way up this way. <laughs> I don't like this. This is so scary alone. Omar's right. So we're gonna go in to the death chambers area. Last time I didn't film a lot there, um, but we couldn't get inside of it. I mean, that's a table that so many people had to lay and lose their lives. Uh, I don't know. I'm a little nervous about that. And I think it's a good idea for instances when it's like super scary and nervous for us to stick together. We like to give you guys different videos, which we do, but sometimes we're gonna stick together. And I know my boy don't wanna do that alone, so. I'm gonna go down and try to see where he's at. He's gonna pop out any second. Gosh, this is nerve wracking. Oh, what was that thump? What's up, bro? Huh. Bro, this place is super scary. Yeah. Not, not to the, not to the, no, not to that floor, not to the second floor. I just went to the third and fourth floors. Oh, you did? Yeah. You don't look so good. Bro, like. I feel, bro, I feel like, yeah, it was, I was really scared, bro. And something really scary happened in the building you were just in. You didn't, you didn't have anything happen? Um, it was actually kind of quiet over there, but I did, did hear like a couple of like, models. Did you go through like the infirmary and walk all the way around? I didn't walk to the infirmary. That's the only place I did. I don't know. It's okay. <laughs> Bro, I didn't want to tell you what happened because I figured it would scare well, you, but... Yeah, you Dude, just, I was up there and like, I, I got lost and started panicking. And then all of a sudden, as I was walking out, I hear a freaking door slam. Door like, slam? yeah, like they were, like one of these doors slamming. That you just, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta see it later. Hey, did you go in here? Take it off. No, I just, first floor. They have this so like set up for... Kind of like what it would look like. Oh, yeah. There's somebody who's living here. Pretty cool. But there's the shoes. There's the top. This is probably super uncomfortable. Two people would have to share this. This is. Oh, this sucks. Did they actually have TVs? And I doubt it. Because do you see any electrical outlets over there? Yeah. Really? There is one there. Oh, well, maybe then. Or maybe just this side does. Hmm. It was bad, you know. Bro, it is a different ball game when you're by yourself. Dude, right? There it is. Like, so I feel scary. different already. I almost feel like relieved. Like, yeah. What are you saying? I almost feel like whatever is here kind of almost feeds off of you being alone. Yeah. And it I wants agree. to make you feel uncomfortable. 100%. Yeah. Well, I mean, don't get it twisted. It's so freaking scary. Especially where we're going right now. I actually don't want to go. Bro, I went, I, I went, I, I was in, filming and I walked up there. I'm like, all right, I'm going to just show you guys that area first real quick. Yeah. And then as I was walking toward it, I'm like, hey, you know what, man? It is kind of freaking. Maybe I'll just go show that to you guys later. <laughs> like, yo, it's, dude, it's, it's a different feeling. As soon as you go down that hallway right there, that's where Death Row starts. Different vibe. Way different. Oh, another sack. Oh, another sack? No, I think that's mine. So you just leave it there? So you leave your sack on the floor? I did leave my normal sack. Also, this is where I was in the video. And I can't, I 
I was walking down this hall right here. I, want I, hit you. <laughs> I didn't think you were looking. So so let's get a right here. Here. And I heard something like down the hall. Maybe it, let's see if it doesn't. On happen. this floor? Yeah. Hmm. They did it down the hall. And then they kind of freaked me out. I backed off and then they like hit one of these bars right in front of me. Really? And that's when I was like, hey, it's not good. Let's be real quiet. You want to ask? I prefer it to you. Sure, I'd love you to make some noise. All right, I'm back. You want to make some noises again? Okay, I'm going to be quiet. We're all waiting in the death chamber. Hello? Someone's too quiet. Could you imagine the music of just the prisoners being in here? Mm -hmm. So, like in this room right now, if you heard Susan, she was telling us how at 11.30 at night, every night, there was an inmate, because he came to visit her, mm -hmm. but there was an inmate who would stay in his cell, and he would see a dark shadow figure every single night. He walked out of one of these cells and walked that way. Wow. Uh, Every night. Hmm. So I mean, it goes to show you this place was haunted even when it was an operational prison. There were so many deaths here, you know? Not a bad thing. Seems like the old one around too. True. Alright, we're going up there? I guess so. Did Susan ever show you that video of that blob that appeared? No, she's like, going to send it to me. Oh my god, it's terrifying. I feel like it's more than anything. More than anything. Oh, the heaviness already. Oh, it's so much cold over here. It makes sense. I'm going to show you where they did the seance. And something started walking towards them. And this is also where Susan had that blob up here right behind me. Oh gosh. If you look at my very first video that I did here, I have a video of that. Oh, okay. You can screen it for me. It's right in here. So somebody was filming her from right here and she she had her head right here. And it like something came out of these walls. And like was trying to touch her, it was like a hand. It was just like this. And something just came out. That was like it was messing with it. Was oh, messing. that's where they were doing the seances too, right in there? Well, they did the seance there recently. And then there was like a stopping. It almost sounded like someone was stopping on the booth. Do you have an echo meter? James, two minute break. Oh gosh. Love you to make a noise. You know what's crazy, bro? Hmm. I was trying to do uh, it was it was kinda like an uncut video. No, it wasn't an uncut video. I was filming, but I was just filming non-stop because I didn't want to mm -hmm. have the opportunity to catch something, so I just kept filming and filming and filming. And my, out of nowhere, my camera dies right there. And I lost like 45 minutes of footage. From when? This was the very first time I came Oh, out. man. And I was so mad because I caught some really good stuff in those first 45 minutes. Hmm. So, I, like mentally, I was like, damn, I gotta make up for that and film some more. So I ended up recovering the footage that was like corrupt. Because on Sony cameras, at times, if you, like, if your battery dies and you're in the middle of recording, you'll lose your footage. 
Hmm. Like you have to hit stop so it like renders it. And I found this service online that they can like fix that corrupt file. Hmm. And I was able to get it back. Did you put it up? Yeah, and I added the extra footage so that nice. it was like a long video. Well, it said mind. Mind. Are you here with us? Wrong, so wrong. Are you in the death chamber? Where are you? It's awful quiet over here. Is there any way that you could stop your feet like you did for the ladies? Stay here. Stay here. Okay, well. That's what we're doing. We're staying here so that we can hear that. Isn't this where we're mm. I think this area is. I don't, I don't think so. Sure. Would they have been that close to the death chambers? Maybe it was. Yeah. Is this where the women were? There's a delay going over to the death chambers. <laughs> so that's scary. Got a little quiet. Turn it off. Turn Maybe what off? off? Maybe it camera? Or that? Yeah. Well, no, it turned off my camera. It did. It, it turned off my camera the very first time that I was here. Do you remember that? Do you remember draining my battery and turning my camera off, causing me to lose footage? Did your light come back? No, I just turned it off for a minute. EVP it says. We're waiting. You're happy, I'm glad you're happy. Mm -hmm. Can you show us how happy you are doing your happy dance down the hall? <laughs> Stop, that's for her. <coughs> Just seen something whiz by my screen. Yes. Dance. Dance. Wow. Dance. Yeah. Dance. Maybe I want you to dance. I'll dance for you. Oh, what the hell? What? I don't know. I think I just caught like an orb. Or? Alright, we're gonna walk away. Obviously, you're really not into hanging out with us. I hope it's just chill here. Maybe there's... Oh. Because of the sounds. Illness. Illness? Does that mean that like, you don't want to hang out with us because you're sick? Oh, gosh. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm on it. Something is hidden. Something is hidden. What's <laughs> hidden? This side doesn't seem very scary. I feel like there is something hiding here. I have no idea what it is. I'm not sure what this is where I'm at. It's like little doors. Oh God. He's got a long hallways too. Wants it be a dead end. Hey. Yeah. I'm over here. I thought I was right next to you. What happened? Something happened. Uh, the, the 
watch you. Spirit box that said, I'm here to warn you. What? The bar started shaking. Yeah, now it says watching you. Alright. Okay, where are you? Okay. Smell. Say smoke or smell? I don't know. But, uh, as promised, we're going in probably the scariest part of this entire prison, of our state prison. And we're gonna go inside a place that no one has ever gone before, at least on YouTube. And the last time somebody did, they got possessed. Great. There it is. And there's a whole video That's it right there. There's actually pictures. This is the order of the people that took their last breath right there. It starts all the way over here. One of these over here is a very popular spirit that is in here. I can't remember exactly which one it is. But the fact that we're about to go inside of there is just insane. Like how many bodies laid on that exact table right there and passed away. I do like that there's a cross in there. Did you see all the inmates? Yeah, bro, I don't know if I want to open that door. Huh. You want to be the one to open the door? Um, it's pretty spooky. I, I mean, that's, that's scary. Now over here, these are pretty wild. This is where an inmate that was gonna go in there, spent their last night. This is where they'd actually have their last supper, right here. I think they were telling me about one of the inmates, he requested a huge dinner, and I believe a movie. I think he wanted to watch like Star Wars part one, two, and three, or something like that, because they were so long, and it gave him more time. I guess it, this is where they take their last shower, right there. Now we heard some noises here before too. Any spirits over here? Actually, I remember when we were here last time, we heard this movie. Like this was like, moving like that. I'm assuming it's because there's a window, but... Can you make that move again? No. I wonder if the activity picked up. Like... Once we open this. No. I'm waiting for you to open it though. Gonna attach to whatever sees for uh I'm not gonna attach. Oh shit. It's not allowed to attach to this. Bro. No one has ever opened that. There's one in there. You wanna You wanna go lay in there? No. She was killed. She was. Did, did you kill her? Did you strangle her? 
Because that's what I hear you did. Did I just see another orb? I imagine that. You can only see those. Like, they really, like, just really tie you up. Yeah, they really strap you in there. Yeah. I think you should lay on the table. Oh, <laughs> definitely. Nah, I'm good. So somebody took a picture from the outside and caught this guy, this guy's face, like through the window. Really? It was like if he was peeking. Oh, bro, you gotta come in here, dude. It's, like I don't feel good in here. It's it's a really off. Oh my God. Here, so. Can you imagine being in here and all you do is you see all the people looking at you? Catherine. 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 Are you naming off names of... A gateway. Are you naming off names of women that you killed? It's really messed up what you do. I don't feel good in here. Right? I feel that it's like a really off... I feel... I feel like I got a headache. I'm like dizzy. You know what we should do? Oh. Each of us be in here with that door closed. Yeah. Like locked. Okay. You first. <laughs> you first. Hey, no, 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 no. <laughs> Wait, you said. All right, I'll, I'll do it. No. I'll do it. You can close again. Wait, Just for a minute, though. For real. Yeah, for real. Yeah. No one's ever done this either. No. Hey. Close me, lock it in, and then I want you to come around and see me from the other side. Oh, God. This may be a really bad idea, guys. I'm not going to lie on that table out of respect of all the people that passed away right there. But look at this. They even strap your arms in and everything. was that bro something literally tapped my shoulder bro what the hell is there anything hanging down bro something just tapped my shoulder in here bro open this up I'm ready to get out of here bro what the hell like literally it felt like something tapped my shoulder Your turn. Hell <laughs> Bro, something felt like it literally tapped my shoulder. I saw it felt like it was like you, like some like almost as if you were to tap in my shoulder. It looked like you were freaking out. Bro, I did freak out. Bro, that was weird. So Susan says that if you turn off her lights. Down this hallway, you can see like people walking back and forth. Very good. I don't think you can see anything if you turn the lights off. Well, see, there's like a little bit of like a very dim light at the very end. Hmm. Let me see. Just clear the light. Yeah. Jeez. Now look at all these faces right here, bro. Yeah. These are all of them. Man. They died in that order, too. Yeah, they died in there. Right in that room I was just in. Like, I actually felt like that. It was really weird. But it makes me wonder how many of them were innocent. And maybe they were just convicted of something that they never did. I mean, that, that does happen, too. Look at what it says here. He killed his five-year-old son. Like, that's what it says what he did. Shot, 
It's a good thumbnail right there. Hmm. 17. Wow. That's way too young. Did you hear that? Yeah. Did you freaking hear that? Bro, what the hell? Can you tap again? There's obviously one of these pictures. One of them's that Who's innocent? Stop your picture again. Susan was talking about. That's a little bit of light. I don't know if you see anything. I'm ready to get out of here, bro. Yeah, this is so heavy. I was showing this room. This is where they hooked up the hoses and stuff. Oh, for the... Yeah, they stuck the hoses right, right in there. Oh, See? yeah. This is where they would do it. Yeah. Oh, shit. What's that? Oh, look at the door. Look at the door. Look at the door. Look at the door. I didn't even come near that door, bro. You didn't even I touch swear. the door. I didn't see you touch the door. No, I didn't come anywhere near that door. Whoa. Just started moving on its own. I heard something behind me and then that happened. Dude, um, that's, that's crazy. Cool. So I don't remember. I mean, I opened the doors. Maybe something maybe was in here. Maybe it was moving when you walked up. I thought you want to get out of here. I do. Let's go. Yeah. That was cool, though. Uh, yeah. yeah, how do we get out of here? Oh gosh! Sorry. Big door. Thank you. Alright. Jeez, that scared me, bro. <laughs> that was me, obviously. Watch me over here. I feel much better being with you, though, I'll tell you. Oh, no, same. Like, so much more scary. Oh, yeah. Oh, shoot. I'll tell you what, like, if you're kind of new to, like, exploring and doing, like, ghost hunting and stuff, it's going to be a lot scarier the less people you have. So, I mean, yeah. it's not always that fun. Like, people want to bring, like, 20 people with them. Then it's hard to hear anything. It's hard to hear anything. And that's why it's kind of good to hear more. Like, at least with one like person. Because at least you guys know that you're in. Guessing each other for your noises. Yeah. And split up. You know, if you got the balls to do it like James and I did, yeah. it's, uh, it's scary though. That's not the way we go. Yeah. That's how you get out? Pretty sure. No. Yeah. No. Okay, you go that way and then come back. I'm serious. I don't think that's the way out. Oh. I don't think that's the way out. It is. It is? Okay. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah. See, I told you. It's nice to meet me. It's nice to meet you too. <laughs> Bro, what a crazy place, man. Yo, I can't wait to show you my footage of my flashlight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was literally dying right in my hands. Like something was messing with it. Weird. And like, I didn't like it. I pulled out my iPhone light. And for some reason, it can't mess around with your phone light. But like, ooh, I don't know. 
I'm walking through this house. Hmm. Oh, like right when you came in? Yeah, it was like almost instantly in the first couple seconds. Oh, weird. Goodbye. We love you. I didn't say that. No, I don't know. I missed them. They're good spirits. They didn't try to hurt us. Well, yeah. Nothing wrong Thank with you that. for not hurting us. Yeah, although I did feel like something touched me. That was really freaky. There is something bad in that section. You know, I don't know if it's 100% like a mm -hmm. terrible or, I don't know, I don't know if it's something that's pretending to be. That's creepy. Uh, are you ready to go back in the infirmary? No. <laughs> no, I'm good. Hey, we got a pretty good long video. Make sure you check out my boy Omar's video over there because he got a different video with all kind of cool stuff. And we have another cool video to film for you guys. So I love you. I'll see you on the next adventure. Till next time. Peace. Love you guys. Mwah.